In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this quirky tiny house in just an hour using SketchUp. What's going on fellas, I'm Geo and this is Geo Creations. You can find me on Instagram as Geo German. Let's jump right into the video. I'm gonna ride you through the whole process of making this. This will make you understand the power of leveraging and optimizing a single seed. By that, you can save a ton of time and effort. This process will save your neck when you are on the urge of your final presentation. So don't skip the video and follow me along through the process. As usual, we're gonna start it from the sketch. You need not to be so good at sketching for doing this. It's just for keeping your workflow in track. Just treat it as a script for your final output. I'm not gonna start the whole process from planning in AutoCAD. Our aim is just to replicate the sketch in the quickest way possible. As soon as creating a base structure, create a scene. To do that, go to view, animation and add scene. Now we are going to concentrate only on the visible parts in this scene. All the other views you take are just bonuses, just like these images. Let's create our next flow. And if you haven't watched my video on SketchUp plugins, I highly recommend to watch it by clicking on this i button or check the link in the description because I'm gonna use some of the plugins in this workflow. Don't ask why I am not using the create opening tool. I haven't used AutoCAD for planning so it doesn't make sense anyway. Hmm, I just got a random thought to create this window as a circular one. Let's see how it works. Let us give a base for this elevated plant. I'm using the mirror tool for JHS power bar. Let's select the object. Imagine the axis as a 2D plane at the center. Also make sure if it's highlighted with the respective color according to its axis. If you're wondering what this dude is doing over here, uh, he's just keeping me from going out of proportion. One great thing about SketchUp is it allows you to formulate your own working style according to your workflow. You can customize shortcuts even for the plugins, which is really a lifesaver and time saver. <laughs> if you've noticed, I'm not using right click and make groove for making a groove. I've changed the shortcut according to my workflow, which drastically improves my speed. I'm planning to do a separate video on it. Let's play some handrails. I'm using glass handrails here. Covering the opening with glass, this side is based on India, so I am providing this facing the north, so that it absorbs more skylight and the inclination provides enough sunlight for the plants to grow inside. Oops, I haven't saved this file yet, let's save this. Let's add details in the first flow. Time to add all the structural elements. Always avoid these kind of jittering areas. It forms when two different materials interact. It follows through even after rendering. So make sure you are not doing this mistake. Ok now let's add stairs. I'm providing the first floor access from outside so that we can save a lot of space inside and also it increases this privacy between the two floors. Time to place the doors and the other components. If you are getting value till now, leave a like, come on. And I'm putting a lot of effort to provide the utmost value for you, so a sub will be great. Okay, now it's time to add the materials. I'm not using any permanent material like concrete because it's a semi-permanent structure. Most of the materials are wood and the structural elements are steel. Let's add some more details. Now 
Now our model is almost done. Let's export our model to Lumio. Let's tweak the required settings. I'm taking three outputs, one with the fog and one with human and one without. Leave a comment if I want to do a tutorial on Lumia. After post-processing in Photoshop, this is the result. If you want to learn more about post-processing in Photoshop, go check out these videos by clicking on the i button or the link in the description. I hope you got some value from this video. If so, come on guys, share this video and subscribe. Lot of informative contents coming on the way. Leave your suggestions as comments below or DM me on Instagram. Signing out for now, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.